Alrighty, darlings. Let's go forward. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Oh, darlings, it's my TV appearance. Hello, how is everybody out there in TV land? This is Metaton here. Oh, okay, well, I guess we'll just keep going. So many trees around here. Looks cold, too. Uh, a little bit quiet and disturbing. Hello. Uh, is anyone out there? Hello? Hmm. Mysterious and spooky, darlings. Oh. Hello? What is this? Hello? Who's that behind me? Human. Hello there. Who are you? Oh. Sure, I'll shake your... Wow. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a second. Have you heard it before or something? Hey, yes I have, darling. Yes I have. You turned around before I said to. Huh. Weird. Oh, whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be a watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Okay, uh, yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Okay. <laughs> oh. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It is rather conveniently shaped, isn't it? Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! And then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping! You lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> oh, Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Okay, you can come out now. Oh man, oh, you gotta love these guys. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> I don't know, I could enjoy that. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. 
but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Interesting. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? Depends what the favor is. I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Okay. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Whoa. Sans? Oh my god! Is, is that... a human? It looks so familiar! Uh, I think it looks familiar. Because it's a rock? Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh, oh my god! Is... is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! I'm dying, Will! I'm gonna... I'll be so... popular, popular, popular! <clears throat> Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You'll be delivered to the capital! Then, then... Then I'm not sure what happens next. In any case, continue only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Oh, you gotta love Papyrus. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted Century Station! Who could have built this, you wonder? I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman! No, not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. Absolutely no moving! Well, I'm gonna move anyway. Oh. Did something move? Was that in my imagination? I can only see things that move. If something was moving, for example, a human, and make sure it never moves again. Ooh. Duggo blocks away. Check it. Duggo six. Attack. One defense. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. And don't move an inch. Okay. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Pet you. You pet Doggo. It's like, oh, 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 oh. What? I've been pet! Pet pot pot pet pot pet 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 pot. Doggo has been pet. Let's spare you. You won. This is this is something pet me. So, something that it isn't m moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Hello? Room service? Hello? Is anybody there? No? Okay. Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Okay. Oh. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, Snowden Town. And ice. Oh. Really, though? That human! Do I know that person? Do you not know who you know? <sighs> of course I know who I know! I wanted to know if you know! I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know! You know? Oh ho ho! Speak of the devil! 
In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably be having is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Okay. Ah! Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold this, please. Okay. Okay, try now. Okay. I think I'll just go like this way. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother, Sam. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? <laughs> well, sure. He's awesome. He's a hoot. So, boop, boop, boop. down here we go. Oh, human! I hope you're ready for. Hmm. Sans! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. What is it? Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? You know what? I'm gone. Sans, the human is escaping! You made the puzzle too hard! Hey you! Get back here! Okay. What'd you want? Sans, I didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What the crossword? I can't believe you said that! My opinion? Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder? Jumble or the crossword? Oh, let's say Jumble. <laughs> yes! Humans must be very intelligent! If they also find Junior Jumbo, it'll be so difficult! <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> it's a note from Papyrus. Human! Please enjoy this spaghetti! Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you! You'll be so busy eating it, that you won't even realize that you aren't progressing! Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus! Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus! It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Well, guess I won't be able to enjoy that spaghetti. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Go ahead and save that. Okay. Warning. Dog marriage. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna go over here and... Get attacked by lesser dog. Ooh! Hey, lesser dog. We have options to pet, 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 and pet. I think we'll just pet you. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Oh, hi, doggy. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Let's pet you again. You lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. 
<laughs> oh. Ah. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Pet you again. You pet the dog. It raises its head to meet your hand. Hello, doggy. Little cute doggy. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. Excited noise. Whoa. Pet more. You pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. Whoa. Wow. Coming from the other way. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. And now it is overstimulated. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane takeoff. Oh, darlings, this dog is so fabulous. There is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds. And you call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping, but I think we shall. Go ahead and spare you now. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Okie doke. Let's go down and meet the little doggies. Oop. Gotta get across here. Up. Hello there. My name is Metaton. How are you today? What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're small, identify your small. <laughs> hmm, there's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Are there doggies? Doggy assaults you. Doggy me and dog eraser. I'm gonna roll around in the snow and the dirt. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? And, oh. Okay, here we go. The dogs may want to re-smell you. How about you re-sniff me? The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What smells like it? Are you actually a little puppy? Oop. Uh. And, back over here. Okay. The dogs think that you might be a lost puppy. How about I pet you? You pet doggy me. Wow, pet by another puppy. Oh, don't leave me out. And up, oh, and up, yeah. oh, Whew, that was close. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. How about we pet you too? You pet the dog eraser. What about me? A dog that pets dogs, amazing. And there we go. And oh, barely didn't get hit by that. Dogs' minds have been expanded so much that they can be spared now. You won! Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us! Thanks, weird puppy! You're welcome! Okay, so... Let us keep going. Uh, let's see, we need to turn this on. And this on. What? Now did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Ate it, left it. Uh, I left him some. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want! <laughs> yeah. All right. See you later. Let's get some pasta later on. How about that? My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Sock collection. Oh. Come on. Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle! 
by arranging the snow to look more like my face! Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is... different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is... Worry not, human! I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum! Then we can both proceed! Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself! I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay, so... let's see here. I think... that I want to start... this way. And go down here. Uh... crud. I messed that up. Alright, so... I'm gonna start like this. Then get off of there. Then do that. And over here. There we go. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well! I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! Yeah! Ha ha! Ha ha Ah, Papyrus, I love you, buddy! Oh, hello. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey! It's a human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if you a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which the piranhas do like like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, big tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle. That has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! Well, that's easy. <laughs> See ya, Papyrus! Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps that up, next year he'll even make something edible. Oh. This is crazy. Oh my god. What is this? On the floor inside is a box of pomer raisins. Pomer raisins. <laughs> I get it. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog and express its own emotions, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, hmm. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. And this, eh, 
There's 30G inside of it. What is this? It's a snowball. That's what it is. And that is a doggy, apparently. Hello, doggy. Whoa, that's a big doggy. It's a greater dog. Okay. Uh, let's beckon you. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber onto your face. <laughs> Lazy little doggy. Greater dog is seeking affection. How about we... Play or pet? Pet, I think. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it's pet by you. You get so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It is so excited. Okay. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. How about we play? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests his head on you. Oop. There we go. Greater dog wants some TLC. I just noticed, look at the spear. It's actually both the spear. The spear has a doggy face and then like its right wrist has a doggy face too. That's just funny. Alright, let's pet you. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement slows. I'm kind of afraid of that. But you still haven't pet enough! Aw, little doggy. Pet capacity is 40%. Let's pet you more. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Oh, there we go. Greater dog is contented. Spare you, doggy. <laughs> oh, look at that doggy. <laughs> and now its butt goes up in the air. Okay, so let's see, where are we now? Oh. Huh? Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Oh! <laughs> Look at the doggy at the end there. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will move swinging violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Uh, well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! Huh. I don't know, I don't see anything. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, in this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one! I have a skeleton with standards! My puzzles are very fair! And my traps are expertly cooked! But this method is too direct! No class at all! No way it goes! Now what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! Ha! Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well... Hi there, Sans. I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay, we will do. Welcome to Snowden. Uh, let's go ahead and save here. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Go ahead and save and... What is my... My health is looking fine. Okay. Okay. Papyrus, where are you, buddy? Hmm. Very mysterious in here, I believe. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. 
the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the great Papyrus, will be your... Will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Huh. The music. Gotta get into the music, darlings. Okay, sorry about that. Let's act. Let's check him out. Papyrus. Eight attack, two defense. He likes to say, Nyahaha! Nyahaha! Hmm. Okay. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Let's flirt with you. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh, I can make spaghetti. No, oh, no! You're meeting all my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Mm, doesn't seem to really, uh... Do much to me. Uh... Spare you now? So you won't fight! Mm, then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Uh, okay. Sure. I can handle that. That's pretty easy to deal with. Huh? Oh! Ah! You're blue now! <laughs> That's my attack! <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen to that music, darlings. So good. Try to spare you. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Oh, jump. Jump as high as you can. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ears. But he doesn't have ears, though. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing! Oh, boing, boing. Oh, listen to that music, darlings. Whoa! Yep! Whoa! There we go. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Hmm. I don't know that that would be uh, like good. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Oop. Okay. Oop. Oh. Okay, there we go. Papyrus stabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Oh yes, go ahead and show off to the darlings out there. We'll go ahead and get the ratings through the roof. I can almost taste my future popularity. Whoop. Hey, jump, jump. There we go. Better. Whoa! Ow! Not fair at all. Papyrus stabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Oop, jump, no. And you. Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettor! Spaghettor! Sp spag spaghettor! Skeletor! Something! Skeletor! Ow! No! Oop, uh, okay. I'm safe, I'm still here. Papyrus dabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Undyne will be really proud of me. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And again. And oh, once more. And yet again. 
Any more? There we go. Papyrus stabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! And jump. And jump. Out. A little bit too late there. Papyrus realizes he doesn't even have ears. My brother won't. Well, he won't change very much. But, hey. Ow. Crud. Crud, crud, crud. I need to heal up a bit. Take some monster candy. You ate the monster candy and recovered HP. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But, what? What, what? Exactly, Papyrus. Boop, boop. Uh, jump, 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 jump. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Uh, let's see, I don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and spare you again. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? That's really the question in the end, isn't it, Papyrus? I don't know if anyone will. I love you just the way you are, darling. Just the way you are. Silly, joking laugh and yahahas and everything. Papyrus is red like his bones. Someone like you is really rare. Am I? Well, I guess I am just rather fabulous. My glam rock knows no bounds, darling. Papyrus is considering his options. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Yep. Gotta not move. And not move. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey. Hi, oh. There we go. Papyrus whispers. Yeah. <laughs> After you're captured and sent away. Whoa, okay. Uh, whoa! No! Oh! Papyrus is rattling his bones again. None, who cares? Give up! Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. Ow! Ow! Uh, okay. Papyrus is repairing a bone attack. I should use more candy, though. Very unlicorice like You recover 10 HP. Give up or face my special attack! Uh, oh, there we go. Ow! Nope. Uh, but we do this, that. Okay. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! Okay, 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 and okay, and here we go. And you. Papyrus is rattling his bones again. Not too long and I will use that special attack! Come on already and out! And use it! Use it, darling! Show them how special it is! Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> this is your last chance before my special attack! Okay, ow, 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 ow. I have to use too much of that candy, I guess. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. More monster candy. Behold! My special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Hey. You're taking away the special attack. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <sighs> oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Oop. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ow. No. No. That's not that very normal. Ow. Stop that. Okay. Jump you. Jump. Ow. No. Nope. Nope. Doggy. Why would you do that, dog? Cool dude. Okay. And whoa! Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Whew. And anything more? Okay. Jump over you. And I'm like just a little bit nervous in case there is something more. Well, that's clear. You can't. Defeat me. Yeah, I can see you're shaking in your boots. Therefore, I think the Great Papyrus 
I'd like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Sure, I'll spare you too. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowie! We haven't even had our first date yet! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human! I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's a magical seal trapping us all in the underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open a barrier with soul power. And then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Could I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyways, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Whoa. He jumps. All right, well, thank you for going ahead and joining me, lovely darlings, here today on Undertale, the Pacifist Run. If you have anything to say, if you like this video, go ahead and please give it a like and give it a comment. Please give it a subscribe, even. I always love to hear from you, darling, so please let me know what you think about this series. And of course, if you like these voice acting series, I always suggest that you go ahead and watch Blaster Brewmaster's playthroughs of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, as well as Paper Mario. He loves being silly and voice acting for all of these sort of things. In the meantime, go ahead and raise your glass of whatever you're drinking up in the air and have another one on Blaster Brewmaster. Love and peace, darlings, love and peace. Professor Booster! Can we bring him along? I don't trust hippies! Professor? Huh? Sue! Our escape must be put on hold for now! The doctor has found the location of the red flowers! Huh? Huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them! But it's only a matter of time before he does! Their location is Sand Zone! I've heard that the red flowers are...